Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to finally deploy our EC2 instance. It won't have anything installed on it yet, but we'll at least get it scaffolded and deployed. So let's get started. Alright, we take a look at our docs here. The resource is actually called AWS Instance. As you can see in the basic example, it's using an AMI lookup, which looks very similar to what we have used before. As you can see, it's got the owner, it's got everything else here. Of course, we already saw how to get the owner ID ourselves, so that's great. And then basically, we just need to provide that AMI, and you reference that by using the data keyword dot AWS underscore AMI dot Ubuntu ID. So do keep that in mind where typically with a resource, we would just use AWS at VPC dot my VPC dot ID for instance, but with a data source, you need to prepend that with the word data. And then we'll just provide a few more arguments. As you can see, there are a lot of arguments for the EC2 instance. So let's go ahead and start coding this thing out. All right, so what I'm going to do Let's scroll this down a little bit and let's add our resource, AWS instance, just like so. And I'll just call this dev node, just like so. Open and close those resource braces. We need to provide an instance type first. And to keep this in the free tier, we will use a t2.micro. Of course, you can scale that up, but that might cost you some money. And then we need to provide our AMI. So as you remember, the AMI in our data source here is data.awsami.serverami. So data.aws underscore AMI dot server AMI, just like so. And then we just need to add ID to the end. And then let's add some tags. We'll just give it a name equals, and we'll call it dev dash node, just like so. Now, after that, we need to provide our key name, which of course we created recently. And what we're going to use is AWS key pair, which of course we just created right here. Dot MTC underscore auth dot ID once again. Now I see that this says key name and not necessarily ID, but the ID is perfectly fine here. The ID will work. Now, if you take a look by just running terraform state show aws key pair dot mtc underscore auth, we can see there actually is a key name. So if you want to be more explicit, you can absolutely use key name. ID is just a force of habit. It's something that I do frequently. As you can see, it is the same for both. So both works perfectly fine. But just know you can use key underscore name if you want to be more explicit. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and give this EC2 instance a security group, VPC security group IDs. You see this S here, which means you guessed it, we need to use brackets. And I'm just going to do AWS underscore security and tab there to autofill that dot MTC underscore SG right there dot id and of course if you have multiple you can use comma separation to provide multiple security groups and then we just need a subnet id so that's going to be aws subnet dot mtc underscore public subnet just like so dot id then if we want to resize the default size of the drive on this instance we can provide root block device just like so and you can actually up this we can say volume size equals you could say we'll just say 10 we'll keep it in the free tier which gives you 16 so we'll just say volume size equals 10 which is larger than the 8 that they give you by default all right so that actually is all we need to add for our instance for now let's go ahead and run our terraform plan all right, as you can see, we've got a lot of attributes there, but everything looks good to go. But actually, don't bother applying yet. We're going to go ahead and come on back to the next lesson and add some user data before we apply this instance so we don't have to wait for it and then just redestroy it. 
So go ahead and mark this lesson complete. Come on back to the next one and let's continue the course.